What's up everyone? So today's video is going to be about Flavor Flav, Lil Boosie, and Soulja Boy. So as you guys know, I made a video about this a year ago, and that video was only 8 minutes. You know, I didn't really go too deep into these characters, but in this video, I'm really going to expose a lot of things about these characters. And I also found out that Soldier Boy is another one of these characters as well. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because there's so many connections with all three of these characters. And after I made this video last year, you know, Lil Boosie and Flavor Flav did damage control and they did a podcast together right after my video. So that was major damage control. But you guys have to realize that these characters can be in the same room together. I've said this multiple times, but these characters can be in the same room together because I'm not saying that they're the same vessel, but what I'm saying is they're the same deity. So that's why they look so much alike. You know, these deities create multiple vessels and play multiple characters at the same time. So one entity can be in multiple vessels at the same time. So that's why they were able to be in the same room together and do a podcast together. So don't let the damage control throw you off because as you guys can clearly see, Boozy and Flavor Flav look exactly alike. You know, right here is completely undeniable how much they look alike. And here's another really good comparison of them as well. You know, you can really see this one more when you look at younger pictures of Boosie. Because this is a younger picture right here and he looks so much like Flava Flav. And right here as well. So here's some more comparisons of Flava Flav and Boosie. Just so that you guys can see the resemblance before I get into this Soldier Boy character. You know, they look so much alike. And so many people made memes about it. You know, they put this picture of Flavor Flav and they said this is going to be Lil Boosie in 20 years. Because Flavor Flav is the base character of all three of these characters. Because he's the oldest one. You know, he's like in his 60s right now, I believe. And the funny thing about this one is they put this one right in our face. You know, there was these videos going around of Boosie saying that he was mistaken for Flavor Flav. And I showed you guys those clips in my last Boosie video that I made last year. And I'll show you guys those clips again because it's pure mockery. You know, Boosie was basically telling us in plain sight that Flavor Flav is his base character. So I'm going to play those clips for you guys at the end of this video. Alright, so now let's get into the Soldier Boy character because he looks exactly like Flavor Flav. And the big connection with all three of these characters is the fact that they love wearing these big shades. You know what I mean? Like right here, Boosie and Flavor Flav are wearing these big shades. And when Soldier Boy first came out, he used to wear these white shades that said Soldier Boy on them. And when he was wearing those, he looked a lot like Flavor Flav. You know, they even dressed alike in so many ways. So all three of these characters love wearing big shades. So here's some more comparisons of Soldier Boy and Flavor Flav. You know, it's crazy how much they look alike. And this is a good example of a deity creating multiple characters for different generations, right? Because Flavor Flav is really old. You know, he's like in his 60s right now, so he was for a whole different generation. And then Boosie came out, and his character was for a whole different generation. And then years later, Soldier Boy comes out, and his character is for a whole different generation. So as you guys can see, every generation, they create a new character to continuously deceive the masses and this is how they're able to deceive every single fan base from every single generation and get everybody's energy all at once you know all three of these characters have three different fan bases you know from three different age groups and that's how they're able to get so many people all at once because the younger people don't even care about Flavor Flav no more so that's why they had to create Boosie and Soldier Boy to get the younger generations to like them and as you guys can see, even Soldier Boy and Boosie look alike. And this person made a good point. They said, I can't tell if this is Flavor Flav or Soldier Boy. And when I first saw this picture, I really couldn't tell who this was. You know, I had to really look at it. And then I realized that it was Flavor Flav. But at first glance, I thought it was Soldier Boy because he looks exactly like him right here. So I made a comparison of Soldier Boy and Flavor Flav. And they look like twins, man. Like... He really looks like Soldier Boy right here. It's crazy. Alright, so another big similarity with Flavor Flav and Soldier Boy is the way they dress. You know, when Soldier Boy first came out, he used to wear these really baggy clothes and stuff like that. And Flavor Flav did the same thing, as you guys can see. So both of these characters love dressing like that. And they even made memes about it. 
They said Soldier Boy donates 2007 wardrobe to be used as tents for refugees. And that's funny because his clothing was so baggy that someone made a joke saying that it could be used as tents. And as you guys can see, the clothing was really baggy, man. It looks so weird. And what I noticed is they're trying to bring this baggy trend back. History repeats itself. So if you guys noticed, they went from baggy clothes to really skinny clothes. And now they're starting to push the baggy clothes agenda more and more. And I've been talking about that with a lot of different celebrities. All right, so another big similarity with all three of these characters is chains. All three of them love wearing these obnoxiously huge chains. So right here, we got Soldier Boy with his Transformers chain. And this is very symbolic because not only is the chain light red, white, and blue, which looks like pink, white, and blue, like the T flag, but I always use Transformer as another word for that T word, you know what I mean? Because they really censor that word a lot. So I just thought that was ironic. He has a lot of inverted symbolism in this picture. And then Flava Flav loved wearing this big clock chain all the time. And notice that all three of them are holding their chain in the same way right here. You guys see that? All three of them are holding their big chains in the same way with their thumbs. And Flava Flav really loved wearing this clock chain. And I'm going to talk about that later because that is very symbolic to many different things. And right here we got Flava Flav and he looks so much like Boosie. You know, right here they look so much alike. And then here we got Boosie with these big chains, just like Soldier Boy and Flava Flav. All right, so now let's get into the next character, which is a crisis actor. So there was this kid that went missing, supposedly, and his name was Major Harris. And this guy right here that you're looking at is apparently his dad, right? But we can all tell that this is another one of Boosie's characters because he looks exactly like Boosie. And they didn't try at all with this one. You know, this guy was all over the news crying because of his fake son that went missing or whatever. And he looks exactly like Boosie. As you guys can see, this is Major Harris's father and Boosie Badass on the right. And there's even articles saying that he was mistaken for rapper Boosie. So they put this one right in our face. And here's a really good comparison that I made because they look exactly alike. And even down to the hairstyle, man, they have the same hairstyle. So this one is just super obvious. And this goes to show that all those fake news stories that you guys see on the news are completely fake. Because the fact that they use this Boosie character just for that segment on the news goes to show that all these stories that you guys see on the news are fake. And they love creating these news stories every week to get people sad and drain their energy. So don't fall for those news stories. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's so many of them and there's always a crisis actor on the news crying or something like that. All right, so the next character is Mooski, and he's not really a big character anymore. You know, I already made a video about this last year. You know, Mooski completely fell off. He only had one big song and that was it. So if you guys are interested in watching my video where I broke down all the connections between him and Soulja Boy, the link to this video will be in the description below and it will also be at the end of the video. So Mooski and Major Harris's father are not really big characters, so I'm not really gonna talk about them too much. You know, in this video, I just really want to focus on Boosie, Flava Flav, and Soldier Boy. Because all three of these characters are big, and they all look so much alike. And there's so many connections with them. So, a really big connection between Boosie and Flava Flav is the fact that Flavor Flav has this show called Flavor of Love, right? And as you guys can see right here, Boosie said that he was offered to be on Flavor of Love reality show. And another connection that Boosie is Flavor Flav's character is the fact that Boosie literally has a song called Flavors. So he put this one right in our face. And then he has another song called Boosie Love. And as you guys know, Flavor Flav has a show called Flavor of Love. So when you put these two song titles together, you get Flavors and Boosie Love. And it sounds very similar to Flavor of Love. And right here, he was talking about how he got mistaken for Flavor Flav. And even though that was probably a fake story, because he never actually showed the woman that mistook him for Flavor Flav, but I feel like that was just a big way of him putting it right in our face that he's Flavor Flav. And I'm gonna show you guys those videos at the end of this video. All right, so Flavor Flav is a big character. You know, he's been around for a very long time. 
And as you guys can see, he's been around a lot of big people. On the wall, it says Run DMC. And he's with Will Smith right here when he was younger. And he's also been with Michael Jackson. And he's also been with Tupac. And this one really caught my attention because Boosie has a lot of connections to Tupac. He even has this song called Letter to Tupac. And then he has another song called Thug Life. And obviously Tupac used to always say Thug Life. He even had it tatted. And then Boosie even has this album called Boo Pac. And then he has this other album called Life After Death Row. And Tupac was in Death Row Records. And although Boosie's not referring to Death Row Records right here, he's actually referring to Death Row itself, which is when they sentence you to death in the court of law. But that's still a big similarity, you know, the fact that this album is called Life After Death Row and Tupac was in Death Row Records. So Boosie has a lot of Tupac references and Flavor Flav was obviously friends with Tupac. And here's some articles that I found. This one says, Boozy Badass says Tupac Shakur wasn't as gangsta as he is. And then another article says, Lil Boozy responds to being called the Tupac of the South. So there's a lot of Tupac connections here. And here's a picture of Flavor Flav signing an autograph for Tupac. And now let's get into the Soulja Boy connection with Tupac because as you guys know, Tupac's younger character is Quavo. If you guys haven't seen my video about that, the link will be in the description below. I made a 32 minute video breaking this down. You know, it's basically a documentary and Divine Sade also has a video about this. So make sure you guys go check those out. So the connection here is that Soulja Boy is friends with Amigos, but more importantly, Quavo. So as you guys can see, Soulja Boy is right here with Quavo. And here's another picture of him with all the Amigos. So all three of these characters have connections to Tupac. And this one is really interesting because this is Flavor Flav and Tupac. And then Soulja Boy and Quavo are their younger characters, and they're both together. Alright, so another connection between all three of these characters is all three of their names have six letters. So Flavor is six letters, Boosie is six letters, and Soulja is six letters. And Flavor and Boosie have the same gematria. So Flavor and Boosie both equal 29 in the full reduction cipher, and then they both equal 34 in the reverse full reduction. And Soulja Boy loves to call himself Big Draco. And I noticed that Big Draco and Flav have similar gematria. So Big Draco equals 41 and Flav equals 14. So it's basically the same number reversed. And Dead also equals 14 in that same cipher. So one of these characters is going to fake their death. I'm not sure which one is going to be first. But I assume it's going to be Flav of Flav or Boosie. Because they're the older characters. But you never know. They might kill off Soldier Boy's character first. But for sure they're going to kill off one of these characters soon because all three of them are connected to death. And I'm going to show you guys right now. So Flavor Flav's name literally matches up with death. So Flavor Flav equals 83 in the English ordinal and death equals 38 in the English ordinal cipher. So it's basically the same number just reversed and they have the same numerology as well. And then Flavor Flav equals 52 in the reverse full reduction and death equals 25. And then even the word flavor matches up with killing and rapper. Killing, rapper, flavor, all equals 74 in the English ordinal. And then the other two ciphers match up as well with the numerology. Alright, so something interesting that I noticed is Lil Boosie matches up with shooting. As you guys can see, they both equal 44 in the full reduction cipher. And this is very interesting because Boosie was actually shot in the leg before. You know, here's an article that says rapper Boozy Badass shot in the leg in Dallas. And this was in 2020. So this was a very scripted event because his name matches up with shooting. And then he's involved in a shooting. And even though he survived that shooting, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets shot again and he doesn't survive. Because he has so many connections to death, just like the other two characters. So he was born on November 14th and dead equals 14 in two different ciphers. So the number 14 is a big number that they use when they kill off these characters because dead equals 14. And then Flav also equals 14. So his name matches up with dead as well. Flav also equals 41 in the English ordinal. And when you flip that around, you get 14. And then Flav and dead both match up with 14 in the full reduction and 22 in the reverse full reduction. All right, so another connection to the fact that Boosie's gonna fake his death is the fact that he's a rapper from Louisiana 
because Killing, Louisiana, and Rapper all equal 38 in the full reduction cipher. And I talked about this in my Pimp C video because Pimp C was born in Louisiana and he's also a rapper and he died as well. And then I brought this up recently with my Jada Youngin video because Jada Youngin is another Louisiana rapper that died. So I'm just letting you guys know right now, a lot of Louisiana rappers are going to die because Louisiana and rapper are obviously scripted to get killed. So yeah, one of these three characters is going to die. And Soldier Boy does a lot of symbolism. As you guys can see, Soldier Boy is pointing a gun to his head, you know, symbolizing that he's going to fake his death. But that also symbolizes that he's killing your consciousness with his music. And he's also doing one eye symbolism as well. And then right here, he's doing one eye symbolism again. And then here, he's doing one eye symbolism again. I love to point out the symbolism because I really want you guys to be able to see it for yourself. And sometimes they make it really obvious, you know, like right here. But a lot of times they hide it in plain sight. You know, right here he's doing symbolism as well. But you probably wouldn't even notice that if you didn't really pay attention to this picture. And then right here he's doing symbolism with his hand. And then right here he's doing symbolism again. And what I noticed is all three of these characters love to do this same hand gesture. So you see Soldier Boy doing it right there. And then Flava Flav doing the same hand gesture. And then Boosie is doing the same hand gesture as well. And then here's Soldier Boy doing that same hand gesture. And then right here Flava Flav has horns. And that's something that the Vikings used to wear. But anyways, what I really want to talk about with this picture is the fact that he used to always wear these big clock chains. And I noticed every time he wears this clock chain, you know, it only has the numbers 3, 6, 9, and 12. And these are very powerful numbers. You know, 3, 6, and 9 are the only numbers. Every time you add them together, they're always going to equal 3, 6, or 9. I can make a video about that if you guys want. But basically, 3, 6, and 9 are very powerful numbers. And 12 is also a 3 because 1 plus 2 is 3. So that's part of the reason why he wears this clock. But another reason why he wears this clock is because he's referencing the deity Janus. And if you guys seen my video about the truth about New Year's, and I made that video two years ago, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below because I really exposed the truth behind New Year's. And I was talking about this deity Janus because this is the deity that they celebrate and worship on New Year's. And this is the god of beginnings, gates, transitions, time, duality, doorways, passages, frames, and endings. So yeah, I just wanted to bring that up because I really believe that that's what he's referencing with this clock right here because this is the god of time. Alright, now I just want to talk about how ugly and weird these creatures look because Flavor Flav, Soldier Boy, and Boosie don't look like regular humans. So, for example, in this picture, not only is this sus that this guy is damn near kissing him and he's holding him, but as you guys can see, the way he's holding him right here, you know, you can see that his skin is like wrinkling up in a way that a normal human skin doesn't wrinkle up. You know, I even tried doing this with my hand and I recommend you guys try it as well. And regular human skin does not wrinkle up like that, especially if you're this skinny. So this really goes to show that these are not regular humans. And here's some pictures of Flava Flav and this quote-unquote woman named Bridget. And I really wanted to show you guys this because these are freak show creatures. You know, these are not regular humans. And they don't even hide it with a lot of these characters. You know, this quote-unquote woman looks so disgusting. You know, the way her neck is so thick. And then she got this big backbone. And it doesn't match up with her shoulders and her arms. You know, this is definitely some type of creature. This is not a regular human body right here. And Flavor Flav is just letting us know that he's a deity as well with his helmet. And notice that they're both doing symbolism on the low. You know, she's doing symbolism right there. And then he's doing symbolism right here too. So yeah, I just really wanted to point this out because these deities are so disgusting. And they really let us know that they're not regular humans. You know, some let us know more than others. Like, these two, for sure, they're letting us know that there's some freak show type of creatures. You know, if you guys know what the freak show is, then you guys know what I'm talking about. And she's pretty much letting us know the most. You know, she even has this brown makeup on her face. And then here he is with this other quote-unquote woman 
but she also looks like a creature. You know, she has this big jaw and this weird mouth. You know, these are not regular human beings. And I'm trying to tell you guys because a lot of people don't even notice this. You know, if you really pay attention and analyze these characters, you can tell that they're not regular human vessels. You know, she looks so disgusting right here. Her neck is so weird. And it's more than just being a man, you know. This is a creature that you're looking at. Because even men aren't built like that. And I just think it's so funny that she's so much taller than him. You know, he looks like a little midget compared to her. And then right here, he's wearing these weird goggles. And he really looks like a creature right here. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys can really see through the deception because these freak show characters are not regular humans. And I just really want to show you guys that picture once again because she looks so disgusting right here. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to drop a like, share, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my Patreon. The link is in the description below. So, Flavor Flav is the base character of Boosie and soldier boy thank you guys so much for watching and i'm out i was just in the damn pool later gonna talk about flavor flavor look like no damn flavor flavor look like boost that one with these damn red glass i'm up early in the morning too early in the morning for this uh, flavor flavor i kept walk. Flay, you can't with me, man. Hey, thank you. Got me telling him like Flay, Flay. Hey, yo, check this out. I'm up here walking through the mall, man, and mother is running up to me talking about Lil Boozy. I don't look like no Lil Boozy. If anything, Lil Boozy looked like me. I was here first. Know what I'm saying? Word up, G on the strength, man. Know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm a big fan of Lil Boozy. You know what I'm saying? But Boozy can't fuck with Flav. <laughs> Boozy can't fuck with Flav, you know what I'm saying? For real. You know what I'm saying? I got stats, baby. I got stats. You heard? Word to the bird, G. I'm a big fan of Boozy, though. I like Lil Boozy, man. That's my dude. He runs around smacking the shit out of people. Oh, he's a real G. But he still can't fuck with Flav. I got the stats. All right? Word to the bird. Hey, yo, check one, two. This is Flavor Flavor on Las Vegas Boulevard Live, baby. Hey, yo, this is getting out of hand right now, man. You know what I'm saying? Mother is coming up to me, calling me Lil Boosie on purpose. Hey, Lil Boosie, how you doing? Oh, Flavor Flav. Hey, yo, I don't look like no little mother Boosie, all right? Boosie, look what the you done started, son. You got everybody calling me you now. I don't look like Lil Boosie. I look like Flavor Mother Flav. So y'all get it right, all right? Word up, G. Boosie ain't got the stats that I got. Boosie only got the stats that he got. So y'all remember that. I'm Flavor Mother Flav, not Lil Boosie. They love to say that, aren't you? You look like Flavor Flav. Even my kids drive me and say that. Oh, Faye, Faye, look at that. I get up on you, bitch. Look like, uh. Got me fed up talking about I look like Flavor Flay. Flavor Flay, wish he looked like this. <laughs> Flavor Flay, wish he looked like this. <laughs> Like Flavor Flavor. That's my dog, too. I used to love Flavor Flavor when I was little. I used to hit that boy that he had that clock on his mother. Neck. He had so much sway. <coughs> See, I don't know about Flavor Flavor. He had so much sway.
Yeah. You right, boss lady. That's a lie. Look nothing like flavor, flavor. You right. They talking about Flay Flay could be my daddy. Flay Flay cannot be my daddy. I do not look like Flay Flay. Like no damn Flay Flay. You right.